Hello YouTube, SS Raptor here, and I am here to bring you just a creation I kind of monstrosity creation I made in Minecraft. Well, my Minecraft, using the RF Pony Pack. Basically, what this is, is it is a automatic with a boss killer, and those are loud sounds. Um, yeah, let's turn those down. Because this does get fairly loud and annoying. What we got here? So what happens is, basically, these things summon the wither. There is a delay between the things. This thing kills it with TNT. And then... I think it's like two or three, maybe four. Yeah, a couple TNT go off afterwards. Then, a cart, uh, hopper cart comes down underneath this and picks up all of the nether stars except for this ran these random two basically it is 15 per run I tried getting more but those didn't work so I had like um, another row here which would have made it 20 but I couldn't seem to get that row to work ever so I'm thinking there was some sort of um, weird budding issue with the redstone so basically what you need to make this thing is one miscraft is a very big help and actually I couldn't do this without miscraft or thumbcraft or eh, vanilla I couldn't do this without vanilla I really could not have done this without some vanilla because that is actually a vanilla thing with the um, with the my my cart with the hopper being able to do that and everything else, I mean, it's kind of unnecessary. I mean, it is necessary in this thing, but I have a good item unloaders on both sides. So, those can be replaced with hoppers. And I have boarding tracks just so they can do that, but you can also usually turn them around and everything else. So, that's not a big deal. All this um, red alloy wire can technically be done with redstone. With like normal redstone, but it's a pain. I would imagine it is a pain. There's actually only one piece of normal redstone, and that's right there. So basically, all these are our block place um, block placers from Open Blocks, which you can use these. You can use autonomous activators. You can use like anything, and as long as it can place a block on command. And then I have so I have them all set up in the weather pattern. The skulls have to be facing down. That is one thing I've learned. Skulls have to be facing down. I'm using disk drives here to actually for the routers to just communicate with the rest of the stuff. You can use furnaces or any other thing with the internal inventory. I mean technically like a test rack would work but not recommended. These things are fine because <laughs> I have one inventory slot. And then over here we just have basically a few inputs and routers. Routers are nice from factorization. But any sort of item input system technically will work here, but I prefer the routers because one router can take care of all of this. And then another router can take care of all of this. This here is just using pipes. I don't need that to do anything fancy, but basically, input for your soul sand goes here. Pretend this is like just a normal chest with soul sand in it. And that will go into the router, and then it'll fill up every single one of these down here. Every single one of the soul sand parts, even all these. And then here's another one. This is where you put all your wither skeleton skulls, so a chest um, or something. And you'd want to get those into the router. So I set this up so it's like your chest here holding your skulls and your um, chest holding your soul sand all in here. And then what happens is basically first the um, soul sand is placed. And then over here there is a delay of 16 ticks which I found is a magic number fairly late and I could, make, I could quicken this up fairly easily with some more fine tuning but basically 16 ticks and then all these guys 
um, activate. Once they activate, the Wither boss spawns. He spawns and then falls into the portal, which lands him in here. And then, if I get out of this, because it's all... Actually, let me grab a wand. Um, this, and I'm not sure if I need the focus of warding. Yes, I do. I need my focus of warding. Every single piece of glass in here, which I made so, so I can see the withers and... But this can be made out of anything. The wand focus of warding basically prevents anything from destroying these blocks, including the wither. So, we use that. And then if I get out of here using, I believe it is, yep, TPX0, so I get back over here. So after these 16 ticks, there's another um, repeater setup over here. And they're both at 256, so, after that's done, and then it's about a lot of text later, these two pieces of redstone go off. And I believe this part here is necessary. I want to say it is. Yeah, it is necessary. This cover here is, I believe, necessary. Eh, I can, if I break that and that, Grab that, and I, if I grab a lever, which I should have one right here. I should want a button, but uh, break you two. So these guys will store their um, I just done signal for about 256 ticks, which is long enough for the withers to um, regen, and then it starts its timer which will activate all the TNT from the from these vanilla dispensers just setting them off in there and then there's another time just waiting here and okay that cover was not necessary I don't think yeah just this vanilla redstone no ah, that's nice it wasn't necessary no I don't want the lever there I want the lo I want the red alloy wire there there and there. I don't want any more levers because levers can break things. So basically this allows it to have enough. This one basically sets it so it has enough time to for the withers to gain their health back. And then once they're in killing range, which is why these two are at the same time, this one can then Act, this one activates the killing mechanism, and this one stay, makes it stay active until they're dead. And then over here, we wait until one, they're dead. Basically, we wait till I think it ends up being uh, 256. So I should have a 128 one, which is the same as this. I have another 256 over here. Yeah. Now I have two 256. So it is. Uh, it's just a lot of um, delay. And it makes sure that. Because this one's getting the 256. So it's getting uh, 512 and then something else. It's just making sure they're dead, basically. Because this is. As soon as. The first little piece of the signal goes through, this entire line activates. So, this delay just, just so happens to be long enough that all the withers are dead and all the TNT has stopped exploding. And, and basically what it does is it activates the hopper cart, which then goes around and around and around and around and drops off its items that it has collected in here. And then it goes back and goes away. Now another thing, just so I can show you, it um, really will work with anything. Because also one thing here is that these these portals are all set to go in there. So as you see, those diamond chests are basically the nether stars. I use them because they're bright and blue and 
I had them on me. So, when this thing goes, it is, if you watch those guys through the glass, they get picked up by the cart. And then, they go in here. Along with the 15 other stars. This is, so far, I found there have been zero problems with this, and, and there have been problems, and I have fixed them. I think this problem was because I forgot to ward the floor on this building, and then this one, I did not add the wall, which the wall is important. Material, not so much. And again, um, the block placers can be anything else. I'm just using the ones from Open Blocks. And then the disk drives I have all over the place, not so much. Another thing to mention is um, the Mistcraft portals. Uh, let's hit F9. They cannot actually... Alright, there's a book. Are you an interlinking book? That's the real question. And we're gonna just want you, you, and you. Okay. They cannot, from what I've heard, and this is why I've done it, Despite the fact that this is probably much smaller, and this is actually much smaller than my other portal, this should not work. Huh, it does, so you can actually expand this a lot more than what it is. I, I'm not sure if the size is then a limiting factor because I just heard that you can just use to making these in the size of a chunk. It's also easier chunk load when everything fits nicely inside one chunk, so it's another reason why I did it. Um, let me go over here and I can just confirm that this thing can be on the... Oh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, and another reason why you don't want this thing on the borders of chunks is it, like, if basically say if this chunk here ever becomes unloaded you, the portal will not form because it's missing that one corner block so that's one I think it's more just because of practice you just place a few chunk loaders down if you want to make this completely automatic which I have in the correct delay you want to set what I have here is that it's actually locked but I have a timer here which goes every I think it's 60 seconds yeah every minute it basically you can reset it and it's all set or you can reset the signal so it's just about is so it's 15 nether stars a minute which really is kind of the best thing you can ever get all right let's see if this is too big all right so this one's too big it is 17 by 17. It's going into multiple locations. It's going into multiple chunks. But. Alright, now this is 18 by 18. So it looks like the maximum size is uh, 16 by 16, which just so happens to fit neatly in a chunk. Yep, that's what I would say. It would be 16 by 16. There's nothing once. And eh, well, I could try one more thing. Just because I have made everything so no part of the wither can actually fall on top of these crystals. <laughs> As they are important if they ever break. Just bad things happen. Yep, so that confirms me, my um, suspicions. So it has to be maximum of 16 by 16 which is the size there's also the 3 by 3 one here which just sends it in and this goes right in the middle of this guy which is also all in one chunk which is good because also because this is all miscraft I can add have this any distance apart. I am using interlinking books to get this happened, but and 
and I believe, um, let me just get rid of this. Other things that you can do to kind of customize it is I do not believe the distance from corner of here needs to be this long. I just did it that long because I was having problems with the withers destroying my hopper minecart. So I ended up using this guy with a detector track, which basically can, as soon as the minecart goes on top of it, it breaks. If you want to see, it does that. Which is a very good thing. I, I'm going to set this up and just press the button one more time. You really have to keep an eye, but... So withers are regening. These guys have yet to release their signal to start the spawning of the TNT. They have exploded. These guys now activate. TNT's going off. Withers are dying. It is stopped by the first repeater here. And then it's stopped by the second repeater. Withers are all dead. The TNT is still going off. Still not safe for the cart. Now it is safe, and the cart is going. And that is very loud, so I am sorry. And then I get my 15 other stars. <laughs> and then also, of course, you could probably set up multiple of these spawning into the same killing chamber. So, like, I could probably set up a couple more of those and just have more of them going into the exact same location. And I could probably double, I could probably make this go up to, just adding another one is gonna be a lot. And truthfully, no one needs, there's not a single reason why you would need more than 15 nether stars at one time. It's, you usually don't have to make, use more than one. Yeah, you don't have to you don't ever have to use more than one in any sort of crafting recipe. I know um this is handy if you're making the um Thomas Tinker um Kami or Kami stuff and game was it Icor? Th this would be very handy because I know that requires another star. <laughs> Also, another thing is you do not have to worry about um, nether stars blowing up. I, from what I understand, is that they are explosion resistant. So even if the TNT was going off while this whole thing was while the cart was going through, other than the possibility of destroying the cart, which we don't want, it should be relatively safe. So I just wanted to show you this and I will include a world download for this in the description. I am actually using the Direwolf 20 pack. I believe it is version 1.1.8 on the 1.6.4 yeah, 1.6.4 version. All right, so I'll see you guys later and peace out.